Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Bobby and you're watching Mind Island Design. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can easily create a text highlight effect in Premiere Pro. Let's begin by selecting our rectangle tool and then just going over and selecting the area you want your highlight effect to cover. I'm just selecting my first line of text. Now to change the color, you can select your shape here under the effects control and then just select the fill option. Here you can change the color of your highlight. To animate your highlight effect, you want to go to your effects panel here, which you can also find in this flyout menu. And then in your search here, you just want to search for the crop effect, and then you can drag that over to your yellow rectangle. So I want my highlight to reveal from left to right. So in my timeline, I'm going to work backwards by selecting the endpoint where I want my highlight to end. So let's just say at this point. And then in the crop settings here, I'm going to select the right drop down and then just select the key point option there, that little stopwatch, and then just drag my playhead to the very beginning and then enter 100%. So now as you see when I drag through my timeline, the highlight slides from left to right. To make the movement more smooth, let's just select our keyframes and then select Bezier. So now you see the motion starts off slow, gets fast, and then slows off at the end, which is more of a, a natural motion. Now clearly if you have your text and highlight effect on different layers, you can simply drag your text above your highlight effect. But if you're working with say a screenshot where you can't do that, then you can achieve the same look by using a blending mode. So let's select our highlight effect and then in our effects control panel here, let's select the opacity drop down. And then under our blending mode drop down here, let's just select multiply. And now we can duplicate our work to copy the highlight effect to our second row of text by holding Alt or Option on your keyboard and dragging your highlight effect to the track above. I don't want the highlight effect to start on the second line of text the exact same time as the first line of text, so I'm just going to select the second highlight effect and under the crop drop down menu, I'm going to highlight my keyframes and then just drag them over so they start a little later. Now, in order for us to actually see the effect, we need to adjust the vertical height, and you can do that under the motion drop down, and then just adjust the positioning. Finally, to adjust the width of your highlight, you just need to select the rectangle shape and adjust the bounding box. That is how you can easily create a text highlight effect in Premiere Pro. I hope this tutorial helped. If it did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to not miss any more helpful tips like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.